Hi there, me again. One day after developing some film, I picked out some negatives and went over to my Epson V600 like I always do. While I was setting up the scanner, something made me stop. I wondered how else I could scan my negatives and if I could get better results some other way. That's where Lomography comes in. Lomography was nice enough to send me one of their new film scanning kits. This kit comes in two tiers, the Digitalizer Plus and Digitalizer Max. This is their film carrier. And here are a few film masks. The Max comes with a clamp for your phone and this Scan Deluxe base plate. Let's set it up. This new scanning kit has its own light source, which is really nice. With just this, you can load and scan 120 film. On top of that, you can attach the 35mm carrier via magnets, which feels really nice and secure. To mask off the sprocket holes on 35mm negatives, you can place the mask between the light and the film carrier, which fits together perfectly. To set up the Digitalizer Max, you put down the base plate and then add the phone clamp to scan with your phone. Then the rest of the kit attaches to the base plate and you can slide the film carrier around on the base plate for easy adjustment. This kit also has a built-in spirit level, which is super important for even sharpness across your scans. To load 35mm film, you just insert the film strip where the arrow is and rotate the roller. Once you get the film started, it moves smoothly and lays flat. The fact that you have everything you need to scan with any mobile device is a really nice touch, and that makes film scanning more accessible to more people. For my tests, I was scanning with my Sony a7 III mounted on a tripod, and I was using a vintage Vivitar Comine 55mm f2.8 macro lens with the aperture set to f11. The workflow is simple enough, but I think investing in a copy stand would make things quicker and easier to set up. I scanned both 35mm and 120 film for this test. After scanning, I used Negative Lab Pro to convert the negatives, and here's some of my results. My one complaint about scanning with this setup, and I don't think this issue is unique to Lomography's film carrier, I think this goes for most film carriers out there, is the film wouldn't lay flat until it was inserted in both sides of the carrier. This led to extra fiddliness when starting out with each film strip and slowed down the process quite a bit. This also meant I had trouble getting the first and last frame on each of the film strips to lay flat. This would also be a problem if you plan on scanning a lot of expired film, as expired film tends to have more of a curl. So if you use this method of film scanning, I would say it'll work best with uncut rolls of film. Other than that though, I really enjoyed the Lomography Digitalizer Plus and Max, and I think its price point of $75 for the Plus and $99 for the Max is more than fair. The results I was able to get were also much sharper than with my Epson V600, especially with 35mm. I think if you're looking to get started in the world of film scanning, you should definitely consider the Digitalizer Plus and Max. Thanks again to Lomography for letting me test this kit out. I hope the video was useful for all of the film shooters out there. See you in the next one. Bye now.